Hey everyone, welcome to a solo episode of Arnie's Creative Flow. I'm still in the beautiful backyard of you and Jenkins, AKA 007. Today's lesson is more about the different sticks. You'll see in different, in FMA, there are different size sticks. Some people are just starting FMA. I have a whole bunch here, so I'm gonna break them down. So some people who start FMA and don't have our knee stick, they use the traditional dowel, like a broom handle or just, and it's not made of rattan, which is the traditional sticks that are made from the Philippines that people traditionally use in Filipino martial arts. When you use dowel, it's a different weight. As you're practicing the drills over and over again, they will splinter and start to break, maybe vibrate in your hands more. They're, they're just not adequate enough for Filipino martial arts, but not unpractical either. In a real life situation, you're running down the street from the people and you find the dowel, you, you break it in half and all of a sudden you've got two dowels. So you're like da 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 and you just learned that because you watched Jeff Speakman in The Perfect Weapon. Then you have different lengths of sticks. So this is a stick I haven't used in the last few videos, but this is the ones you've seen in my previous videos. This stick is about 33 inches long. I'm gonna measure right here with my trusty tape measure that I just pulled out of my pocket. So as you can see, I'm not a good measurer. There you go, see, I'm, I'm failing at this. So I'm gonna put that at the top and go all the way to the bottom. So you can see, and I'll bring that closer to you. If you can see that, that's 33 inch stick. And that's made of the traditional rattan from the Philippines. And they also come in different diameters. So some of the more traditional length sticks are, I'd say 24 to 28 inches. Let's just measure that to make sure that I'm not lying. So yeah, this is about 28 inches. The diameter of this one's relatively thick and I like it in between a thicker stick and a thinner stick because one, my hands are big and it just feels more comfortable when I'm holding the thicker sticks. It also has a lot of rings on it. So you're like, why do they have rings or not? The more knots, technically the stronger the stick because the wood is growing inside itself, making it stronger and more durable. Why do I tape the ends then if it's a stronger stick? Because we're hitting them over and over again, weather, depending on where you live, cold and hot, it's changing the quality of the stick. The more abuse it takes, it starts to splinter, but it won't shatter the same way dowel will. As long as you tape the end and you keep it nice and secure, it should last you pretty long time. These sticks I've had for at least 15 years. Then we go to a lighter stick. Now this is again about 28 inches. This would be closer to a competition, more of a modern Arnie style competition stick fighting where you see them wearing all the gear. They use a lighter stick for that and they'll have like a different color, maybe a red and a blue. Now these are very easy to move around, very light. This one is even probably a little heavier than a competition stick, but it's much lighter for you to execute more techniques. In some ways is great and in other ways it could be a hindrance to your own technique. If you only get used to holding a lighter stick, when you go to hold a heavier stick, it'll be a lot harder for you to execute a technique. So it's great to train with heavy sticks just as much as it is with lighter sticks. The lighter sticks are great for helping you to execute many techniques in a very short period of time to see if you can do that and flow them all together. The heavier sticks are great to also try to accomplish that same goal but also it's gonna build strength in your forearm, the flexibility and dexterity in your wrist so that when you're using a lighter stick that you can really move a lot quicker with accuracy and control. So this last stick is Komagong or ironwood. It's a much heavier, dense stick. What these are great for again are strengthening your wrists, your forearms so that you can do all of your techniques as you practice with this heavier stick. Now you may not wanna go as fast right away Right, as you're changing and doing all your techniques. But what it's doing is allowing strengthen the speed and dexterity when you pick up a lighter stick. Don't start off going quick with a heavy stick like this because you will hurt your wrist. You could hurt your elbow and your shoulder. So that kind of explains the difference between the sticks and the lengths. It's not about the size of the stick, it's how you use it, as they say. Okay, so you can be just as effective with a long stick or a short stick. It's not how tall you are or how long your limbs are, it's where you position yourself to be. It's all about technique at the end of the day. Technique, speed, accuracy, explosiveness, in and out, simple, direct, and effective. Those attributes are all that's gonna help your Filipino martial arts. I hope you got something out of this lesson. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Activate your notifications so you can be up to date with my, oh my gosh, a bee. Ah! Activate your notifications for the latest videos on Mondays and Thursdays, and I'll see you on the next one.